Hey there, I'm Mark Butler and I'm an artist working primarily in bonds and steel. I'm here in the room I would normally open up for North Yorkshire Open Studios as showing the processes I use to carry out quite a lot of my work would be a health and safety nightmare uh, but in video format I can do some of that. So I'll give you a brief look at some of my work uh, and then I'll give you a glimpse of what happens behind the scenes. So I'm going to talk to you a bit about how I create the waxes that eventually become the bonds work. Um, I've got a slow cooker here uh, full of wax uh, and I use that to uh, paint and pour into silicon rubber moulds. So this is a uh, flexible, fle flexible silicon rubber mould here. Um, very flexible, picks up a lot of detail um, and it's got a plaster backing to give it the firmness so it gives it solidity. And from that I produce a wax like this. Uh, onto that I need to put sprues, feeders in, so the bonds is going to come in into this cup here, feed here and through and into the into the wax. Now you see with this one, if you hold it up against the light, this is a very thin wax. Um, this is far thinner than you would usually do. Um, I actually sort of go against a lot of um, what a found, proper foundry would do uh, to create my waxes. Um, so with it being really thin, if you vacuum casted it that would be fine, uh, but what I'm going to do is just normally cast it um, and with it being thin hopefully some of that won't actually fill, um, so I'll get a more interesting effect. Also if you look at the feeders all the feeders need to go into the lowest point of the, the bonds. So these edges here, you, quite often you would put a tiny little feeder here to, to get, sorry, tiny little feeder here to get the air out. Um, I'm not putting those in, um, so again hopefully some air will get trapped around these edges and they won't cast fully. And that's intentional on my part, I want that interesting effect in the bonds. I'm going to look at a few of the waxes I've got here ready to pour. So on the end here, um, I'm doing some a piece based on a moth wing. Uh, you'll see if I hold it against the window, it's actually quite a thin wax. Um, so I'm hoping that won't in, uh, fully fill and we'll give some interesting effects because of that. Similarly, this one is based on a, a map. You'll see I've actually melted out a few different areas. It maybe looks a bit like a face, which is probably not what I want, but uh, we'll see how I actually cast. It's also very thin, so I suspect I'll actually lose a lot more than that anyway when it casts. Uh, another one based on the same mould, but this time I've uh, inserted steel rectangles in there. Uh, looking to represent uh, more than burning. Uh, and then this one, um, uh, kind of spiky hollow feature. Um, it's a bit difficult to explain what this is going to be, but hopefully I'll have it on my Facebook and or Instagram page soon. You'll see this one I actually want to fully cast, so all those um, waxes that point upwards would normally trap air if I didn't sprue them up like this. So all these thin sprues uh, allow the air to escape from that from the mould. These are the shells a week later. Uh, I've now added uh, about eight different coats of ceramic shell to these. Um, sort of adding one layer, leaving it half a day to dry off, and in the next layer and so on.
Okay, so now it's the moment of truth. Um, I've done my best to make this fail, but um, we shall see what happens. Yes, perfect, that's what I'm aiming at. So it hasn't fully filled all the mould, uh, but that gives a really interesting pattern. Great, a successful failure. Okay, so this is um, some pieces of wood that hopefully haven't burnt out fully. Yeah, as you can see, the charcoal there is where the wood's still remaining, um, so that will scrape out. Excellent. Perfect, that's what I was after. Oh. Thank you for joining me on this virtual tour. Please take a look at my website and follow me on Instagram or Facebook and I hope to meet you in person at next year's Open Studios event. Goodbye for now.